So you want to earn a crypto? Well, did you know you can earn crypto by playing crypto games? Yeah, that's right. You can have fun and earn crypto at the same time. It's a great way to get started on your crypto journey. So here's five ways to earn crypto playing crypto games. So let's start with CryptoKitties. It's probably the most popular crypto game you've heard of. It went a little bit viral last year and it's still pretty popular. It's a collectible and breedable digital cat game. Yeah, that's right, you've got to love cats. So there's really a door ajar here for a, a crypto doggies because hey, not everybody loves cats. But these crypto kitties are all pretty unique. So let's just see how you can make money playing crypto kitties. So what is a crypto kitty? Well, it's a game centered around breedable, collectible and adorable creatures. And each cat is a one of a kind. Now, the thing is, you can actually collect them and breed them. So let's see how we breed a crypto kitty. So let's just say you've purchased a couple of crypto kitties and now you want to breed them. You go ahead and click on the breed button. Then you go ahead and select a, a kitty and then you select another one. So obviously you need your breeding pair and it's a male and female. So now we go ahead and let them do their thing. Okay, so this, this kitty is preggers and this one is resting. Oh, he's done so much work. Okay, so now you have an egg to hatch. And you now have a new crypto kitty. Then we go ahead to our kitty collection and we find that we've got some unique traits on this new kitty. Now, once you've bred some crypto kitties, uh, you can go over to OpenSea.io and actually sell them. These are some of the highest last sale crypto kitties. Now, this one sold for 600 Ether, which is pretty impressive considering Ether is worth about 100 US dollars right now. Uh, there's obviously quite a range of kitties and uh, the more unique traits they have, uh, obviously the cuter they are, uh, the more they'll sell for. So uh, that's a crypto kitties. Now, a similar breeding game is called Chibi Fighters, but this one isn't just collectible. Uh, you can actually have some games and earn some cryptocurrency along the way. Chibi Fighters are fierce little warriors and they have no mercy. And it's all based on the tradable ERC721 token. So when you purchase a Chibi Fighter, it's yours forever. And similarly to Crypto Kitties, you can go ahead and sell your Chibi Fighters with their unique traits on open seas. Let's just have a look at some of the uh, highest price sales to see exactly what you can sell your chibi fighters for. So it's not quite up there in the market of the crypto kitties, but chibi fighters are a lot cheaper to purchase and you can actually level them up as you go through the game. So if you want to get your own chibi fighter, well, you can go to the chibi fighters screen and I'll put my referral link down below. Um, if you don't want to actually pay any money, you can get a free chibi and play the game at no cost, which is great if you want to earn crypto because you don't need crypto to get in. So let's go and have a look at some of the features of chibi fighters. Now, when you've got a chibi fighter and he's leveled up, you can go and play an adventure. Currently, my chibi fighter is in the middle of a scavenging adventure group and he'll come back with some treasures. You can go and buy some loot crates. And if you need more ether crystals, well, you can go ahead and purchase them if you need. And there's a couple of cool games in here as well. And these are new coins, which you can actually use to upgrade your characters. So you play these simple little games and click on the coins and you'll earn a few points along the way. So I just got sent 50 coins, which is pretty cool for a simple little game. There's other games too. And if we have a look in here, uh, I came back from an adventure before and I've got a little loot box. So I click on that and find out what I've received. And my little chibi uh, gained 25 experience points and collected another 42 coins. So you want to go ahead and put your chibis into the adventures and get them leveled up quickly. Because as you increase in levels, uh, you've got more chance of finding ether shards. So it's a pretty cool game and um, I'm only just getting started with my chibi fighter. So don't forget to complete your daily tasks because you could earn some ether shards, which is convertible to ether. And you could also find some gems, which you can add to the crystal cave. And that's another way to earn ether. Now here's another crypto game that you can earn crypto while having some fun. 
This one's called Steam Monsters and it's based on the Steam blockchain. So if you want to play the Steam Monsters game, you need to purchase a starter pack which gives you enough cards to get started and playing the game and earning rewards. You can use credit card or PayPal or even crypto if you have it. And there's a lot of cards you can collect. Currently my collection is pretty complete and I've leveled up most of my monsters. Now I can put them into a battle. So let's have a quick battle here. We'll just have a, a ranked battle because the ranked battles work towards getting reward cards which are transferable into real money. Yeah, that's right. You can actually sell your cards on the Pig Monsters marketplace and earn crypto. And that crypto can be exchanged for cash at a later stage. So we're just waiting to find someone to play against. So now we've found an enemy, let's go ahead and make a team. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the rules here, which is just standard rules, and I'm going to use my dragon summoner. So use the summoner to actually summon different characters, and we'll just go with earth. So I'll play this guy first, my flesh golem, and then I've got a mana cap of 32, so I've got plenty to play with. So let's just add a couple of these uh, standard characters in here. I kind of like some of these dragons as well, and I can do that. I can play the dragons because I've got a summoner. So we'll play this gold dragon, we'll put him second, and now we've got four left. So we'll find another card that's got quite a bit of power, a 4-4. In fact, what we might do is we might change this and we'll play this one here, the Spirit of the Forest. Now we have two left, we'll play this guy here and we'll pop him in here like that. So that's the team. We have two minutes to make a team and you'll see how they battle out right now. Okay, so I'm up against the Fire Splinter here, so this could be an interesting battle, uh, but all of his uh, team is maxed out, so I could have a little bit of trouble. Let's see how it goes. And we can use these uh, buttons here to actually speed up the event. So we'll just make it super fast, so you don't get too bored. But basically the uh, cards attack each other based on their standard profile and abilities they have. Now I'm doing okay here at the moment, I just probably need to get rid of this uh, giant rock and that looks like it's happened as well. So even though I had lower level cards, it looks like I'm going to win this battle just because I had superior team placement. In fact, it doesn't look like I'm going to lose any monsters at all. So that was a pretty easy win. And you can go ahead and battle again. But what we're playing for here is a season. The season lasts for 16 days and is currently going to end in 9 days time. And while you're playing you can actually earn rewards. So I'm currently in the Diamond League and depending on your rating you move up leagues and you can earn more cards at the end of the season. And they also have daily quests where you can earn reward cards too. Remember if you win Steam Monster cards, you could go ahead and either level up your teams or go ahead and sell them in the marketplace. Of course if you flip a gold version of the card, they're going to be worth a lot more. So I'll put my Steam Monsters referral link uh, down below. Go ahead and join up. It's only $10 to join and uh, it is a lot of fun and you can actually get a long way in the game. And automated tournaments with crypto prizes are coming soon. Although there are player run tournaments being held every day and you can earn real steam or even steam back dollars in each of the tournaments. So that's pretty cool. So while we're on the steam blockchain here's another way to earn some crypto playing crypto games. Yeah this is the poker league, it's the Lucky Sacks poker league and it's free to play and you can earn steam or steam back dollars just by playing the free roll games. Let's have a look at some previous tournaments and see what sort of payouts they've had. So there's a couple of uh, low payouts here, but there's some 10 SPD, which is equivalent to $10. Uh, there's a $20 SPD, and there's been some $50 games too. So that's pretty cool. So check out Lucky Sacks Poker Leagues if you're into poker. It's free to join, free to play, and you can win crypto. Now, another game you can play is called Gods Unchained. Now, this game's still in development, but they are promoting a, a large tournament. Now, the game is an alternative to Hearthstone. It's based on the Ethereum blockchain, and um, you collect cards, and they'll stay in your inventory forever. 
The only downside to Gods Unchained is you need crypto to get started. So you'll need Ether to be able to purchase cards. Now I'll go ahead and purchase a few packs in another video, so don't forget to like and subscribe. But you can open common, rare, epic and legendary cards of various levels. And they can even be shiny, which are worth a little bit more. Now they're currently in beta testing for the game, uh, but once that's completed and it's launched to the general public, they're having a Gods Unchained World Championship and the tournament prize pool is currently sitting at $399,000. They want to reach a goal of 1.6 million. So if you know how to play Hearthstone, well maybe Gods Unchained is a great way for you to earn crypto. Now I'll just finish off this video with the War of Crypto. It's another battling game. You can collect your characters. They could be common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, or even special. And they have various strategic hero types and a ton of different personalities. Then during gameplay, you evolve them. I feel this one's a little bit like Pokemon and the gameplay certainly looks like it's very similar to that. So you go ahead and then you can battle them and also evolve them up and go ahead and then sell them in the marketplace. So I'm keeping a close eye on War of Crypto. It's currently in the early access stage, so there's still a little bit of way to go, but you can go ahead and start collecting today. So there's plenty of ways to earn crypto playing crypto games online. And even if you don't have any crypto to get started, you can use games like Steam Monsters that enable you to purchase in PayPal. And once you've played the game and sold a few cards, well, you can convert that crypto to anything else you like. So that's all I've got time for today. Please like and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about these crypto games, well, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to do another video. So until next time, it's bye for now. Mm -hmm.